young Mahendra was newly appointed as a lecturer in the Lalit Narayan Mithila University in Dharbang. He had befriended a fellow lecturer named Amit and had begun to consider him almost like a family. Just a week ago, the Bihar Public Service Commission had announced that they would be conducting an interview to recruit a permanent lecturer at LNMU. Mahendra and Amit were both temporary recruits and this announcement was a life-changing opportunity for them. So the two friends had applied for the same position. They also planned their journey together to Patna for the interview. When Mahendra reached the university on the pre-decided time to start for Patna with Amit, he was informed that Amit had already left for Patna three days ago. This news crushed his heart. Mahendra did not take long to decipher what had happened and he realized that his best friend had deceived him in order to get an edge over him in the interview. Amit was already in Patna and was lobbying in the academic circles and contacting key members to ensure his selection. But Mahendra was an outsider. He did not know anyone at the higher rank to help him for selection. He felt it was the end of the world. With a heavy heart, Mahendra left for Patna, feeling alone, dejected and hopeless. The next morning, exactly at 8 am, Mahindra reached the venue in his most immaculate formal. He made sure that he looked confident though he was shattered from inside. Finally, when his name was called out, he found himself in front of an intimidating interview panel consisting of BPMC Chairman Mr. Sriram Shukla and senior experts on either side. After a few moments of awkward silence, Mr. Sriram Shukla asked him an unexpected personal question. Where are you from Mr. Dubey? Mahindra was startled by this question and thought this must be to check his communication skills. He said, Sir, I am from a remote village called Bandhanpur in Gadda district in... Mr. Shukla interrupted him. Are you from Bandhanpur? Now. Mahindra was not sure if Mr. Shukla had genuinely developed interest in his tiny village or he is bored of interview and trying to amuse himself by disconcerting him. Either way, the question has nothing to do with his interview. But Mahindra noticed Mr. Shukla's sparkled eyes with childlike curiosity. Desperately, Mr. Shukla asked again, Do you know Kanti Prasad Dubey? Mahindra was surprised at BPSC chairman's irrelevant questions, but he swallowed and nodded and said, Yes, sir, he is my grandfather. He is bedridden now because of old age. Mr. Shukla's eyes filled with tears and he exclaimed, But he is alive. Will you do me a favor? Will you tell him I said pranam and that I seek his blessings? This was too confusing for Mahendra, who was sitting there hoping to secure a permanent post. He merely nodded. The rest of the interview passed in a flurry as the panelists were already awed by the boy who had managed to make the chairperson cry. They asked a few standard questions and he answered them. Mahendra walked out of the room satisfied with his performance. The results were announced and to everyone's surprise, Mahindra Dupe was recruited to the sole permanent post of lecturer at the university. It was the happiest day of his life. Amit could not understand how an outsider who didn't even belong to this side of the state had succeeded despite his lobbying. But for Mahindra, it was one of his first victories of life. His credentials were already impeccable. He was a gold medalist. But this victory restored his faith in God. Not only did it mean that he had the ability, but it also meant that no one could cheat anyone out of something they deserved. Little did he know that a part of his victory came from the distant past, 
something that happened a long time before he was born. After a year at his new job, Mahindra visited his bedridden grandfather, Kanti Prasad Dubey. He had grown thin, frail and was tired of life, waiting for death to arrive. He had stopped speaking since many days and lost his most of hearing. Mahindra thought of something and repeated his interview story many times to his grandfather, but he did not respond. But at the moment Mahindra uttered the name Sri Ram Shukla, the old man moved his hand sharply and said, Say that name again. He had spoken after many days. When Mahindra repeated the name Sri Ram Shukla, the old man repeated, Sri Ram and Mahindra noticed his teary eyes with a smile on his face. His grandfather refused to talk any more, but Mahindra learnt their story from his uncle. 35 years ago, Kanti Prasad Dubey was a school principal in a village. He had to live away from his family and could visit them only once in a month. He was very disciplined and loved his work. One day, a bright boy Sri Ram Shukla came to his office to inform him that he couldn't continue schooling as his parents couldn't afford the school and hostel fees. Somehow, Kanti knew that Sri Ram will have a bright future as he was aware of his talent and his hardworking nature. So he offered him to stay with him in his quarters which took care of his food and lodging. He also paid his school fees. Sri Ram was very happy too. Not only did he learn from his master in the classroom, but he also got special tuitions at home and absorbed a lot simply by sharing a roof with his principal. Out of gratitude, he ran errands for his teacher and helped with odd jobs around the house. Meanwhile, Ram filled a gap for Kanti who was away from his family. Over the years, teacher and pupil developed a strong bond. And when Ram completed his matriculation, he bade his teacher goodbye. That was the last they saw of each other. After 35 years, the student and the teacher had heard about each other for the first time through Mahendra. Mahindra realized that he had played only a small part in a beautiful karmic story. He had brought Sri Ram Shukla an opportunity to reach out to his long lost teacher and brought peace to his grandfather. Today, as his grandfather lay on his bed ready to leave the world, he heard a story which had brought him peace. His dear student had not forgotten him. Kanti Prasad Dubey smiled just a little and closed his eyes forever, content in the knowledge that what goes around does come around. So friends, this story tells us that whatever good we do, it comes back to us in many folds, sooner or later. That's the law of karma, that's the law of nature. And it also tells us that no one could cheat anyone out of something they deserve. We always get what we deserve irrespective of circumstances. In this story, though Amit tried hard for the post, but Mahindra got a job because he was a deserving candidate and his grandfather's good actions played role. I hope you enjoyed this story and I will come up with a new story next Friday. Till then, you please take care. Jai Hind!